Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to 360 flip, AKA tray flip, that is what it's more known. And this is how I do it, so hopefully this helps you guys out, because honestly, this is the way I do it. Remember, I do it this way, so it's not how to necessarily do it, but if you can understand the way I do it, then hopefully it helps you get close to landing it, or make sense. So let's just start by talking about the scoop and the flick. All right, before I even attempt one on flat, Whenever I'm talking about scoop, it's like scrape. You're scraping it. You're doing that. You want to have your foot right here, like kind of sticking out. So whenever you go, you go for it, you scoop it. And then at the same time while this is happening, that scoop motion, this over here, you have it comfortable like a kick position or at least pointing. So whenever you flick out, it flips it. So like it, it starts doing the tray flip motion. So remember, right here, scoop which is like a scrape you basically do this and this over here you're using it to flick so as this is happening like let's say you do this first and you're about to start turning it this one flicks it so it just tray flip there you go so let's see how my first attempt goes right now don't forget to lean forward whenever you're trying or a doing your best to land on the 360 flip because leaning forward will help you out from slipping back slipping out from your trick and just leaning forward and staying above the trick will help you just stay can have control of the trick instead of you going to the side and not having the board with you just stay above the board that will do that will help you out so much during the process of landing this trick One more, one more, just so you guys know that I have them unlocked. Those first, I got the other one. All right, but you get what I'm saying, right? You basically have it right here, and this one right here, but like I showed you. You have it right there, get comfortable. Have this go, scoop, and then this over here, flick it sideways, so it's like, Give it that little tap, that little flick, right, when it's scooping. Yeah, right there. And then it'll go all the way around. You don't even have to flick it hard. It's just, just a little just, tap. Just flick it. But if you notice that you're like, okay, here's your 360 flip, and this is happening right here, where it's not even flipping all the way, then yeah, flip, use the flick motion a little more. So, just like that. It's all in the scoop. It's all in the scoop slash scrape. I'm saying scrape just so some of you guys that don't understand what a scoop is know that it's a, like you're scraping along it. So like you're scraping, you're flicking, and there's your 360 flip. So this isn't very in depth, but this is the way I do it. I don't really think about tray flips because it's not one of the tricks that's my favorite or like it's like one of those tricks that I use a smaller board. That's another tip. I use like a 7.5. A friend let me use it and I got closer to 360 flips. Maybe if you're riding a size, let's say 8.5, and that's a big ass board. So use a 7.5 to get the flick motion, start understanding it, because then it'll be under you. It'll go under you. With a bigger board, it might be harder to flick and get the whole rotation at the same time because like your muscles aren't used to that yet that trick is you're learning it of course so try using a smaller board just to learn it and then once you maybe get closer and land it switch back to your board and start going for it but hopefully this helps you guys out and let me know what you guys think did i do a good job or not let me know did i miss any key points because some of you are always saying apply pressure do this and this well that's how i do it i put all the pressure on the back tail while scooping it and scraping it and then barely flick so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it leave a comment with the next trick i you guys think i should do and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video later